Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change default port as it and turn it on the microtext by the command line. Okay, and then we go to the GNSD. I'm going to show you how to change port by the command line for the as it and the turn it. Okay, this is the requirement that we have to change. Okay, change default port as it 22 to the 500. Okay, allow only this IP for the uh, remote to the S8. Okay, and then change port uh, Ethernet uh, 23 to the 400. Allow allow only this IP okay, for the Ethernet. Okay, and then for the this IP for the S8. So I'm um, going to the window client SP1 and testing for the uh, S8 uh, and Ethernet by default on the microtext. Uh, as it and the tenant are open or allow okay okay and then I'm going to show you a testing okay I'm close this one okay and then I'm close this one also okay okay and then I'm going to testing uh, for the Or tenet. Okay, I'm um, so the IP, IP config. Okay, this is the IP for the window HP Grand One. Okay, and then I'm um, go to the port i and try to testing for the S8 for the default port. Okay, this is the S8 default port. Okay, I'm um, go to the IP of the okay, my router. And then open. Okay, and then you, you, we can log into the admin pass user and type the password. No. Okay, so we can log into the multi router by the S8. Okay, and then I'm close and disconnect S8. I'm go to the internet. Okay, for the 23 port. Okay, by default, I low for the S8 and internet in the multi Okay, so you can okay. okay, so we can log into the microtech by the SA. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to check port for the SA and uh, tenant. This is the report port for the SA. Okay, and then this is the report port default port for the tenant okay, and then I'm going to change for the uh, as a curve and then for the tenant okay I'm remote to again for the change okay 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 this, this is the requirement that you change from the as a 22 to the 500 and from the tenant 23 to the 400 okay this is a specific on on the IP okay and then I'm tie the IP service so you can use the command print for the uh, so uh, information of the tenant apps TP okay this is the port okay this is the IP address okay we can specify IP address for the remote tenant and SA okay for the tenant 23 and for the SA 22 and then I'm going to change uh, as a and uh, tenant. Okay, you can change set as a. Okay, and then port. Okay, I'm change port as a to the 500. Okay, and then I specify IP address for remote only the as a. Okay. Two twenty. Two five twenty four two. For one, okay, okay, and then one more for the internet. Okay, port to four hundred. Okay, okay, and then you can print. Okay, you can see. Okay, I'm changing uh, the Ethernet 400 
A channel 400 Okay, space void IP This IP Okay Okay, and then for the ASA From the 22 to the 500 Okay, ASA From the 22 to the 500 Okay, this is the space void IP For remote to the ASA Okay, and then I'm already to check And then I'm going to the testing for the remote Okay, and then I'm show the IP again Okay, this is the IP from the Windows P time one. Only this IP can be removed to the ASA, and then for the connect cannot. Okay, this IP on only access to the ASA, and for this IP cannot connect. Okay, and then I'm testing for you. Make sure you play. Okay, and then I'm go to the IP the my router. And then I'm. Okay, I'm try to uh, use the port, this port for connected. Okay, so you can connect because I'm changing port already. Okay, and then again. Okay, for the ASA, then I'm changing port to the 500. Okay, then okay, so you can lock in to the iPad. Okay, and then I'm close. Okay, I'm connect again. Okay, I'm go to the connect. Can be remote or not. If I know the port. Okay. Okay, so we cannot accept because we allow only this IP for the connect, and we use this IP a remote to the connect cannot accept and a remote because we allow on your this IP okay and then I'm go to the window I speak like 3 for show you the IP address okay okay there you see this IP address okay this is okay this IP address okay there you see this IP address uh, can be a uh, remote from the tenant but cannot access to the SA. Okay, and then I'm going to testing. Okay, okay, and then I'm going to the tenant. Okay, and tie the IP from the magnetic. Okay, I'm no need to change because cannot connect or not. Okay, and I'll connect before we change port already. Okay, and then I'm connection again. I'll change to the 400. Okay, so we can log in. Okay, so we can. Okay. Okay, and then I'm um, try to remote again to the SA can be remote or not if I know the port ok, I'll change to 500 ok, so I'm cannot remote because for the ASA, I'm no permission for remote to the ASA only um, I have permission for the only the tenant ok, for the ASA, I'm cannot remote because ASA specific only this IP but for me, I'm not this IP, I'm not using this IP for it with OSP use this IP so cannot remote to the SA okay because ASA allow on only this IP okay and for the uh, IP uh, allow from the tenant okay okay this is the benefit that you have to change the port from the ASA or tenant premium from the hacker try to hack you your device okay security for your device when you change the port before port to the other port from the ASA and tenant. Okay, and then thank you for watching my video. Thank you and help me to like, comment and share my video especially. Subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you for watching.